Hello, I'm Paul FP from Switched On Network, and with much of the world either in lockdown or practicing strict social distancing, with mass gatherings of any kind banned for the foreseeable future, a huge amount of our daily lives has now moved online, with things like church services, for example, being held instead as a video on platforms like Facebook and YouTube, or an audio format on a website or as a podcast. Now, this is great, obviously, for the majority of people who are comfortable using the internet, but for those without, like the elderly and vulnerable, they can often be really left behind. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple phone number that anyone can dial from a bog-standard house phone, and it'll play an audio file, mp3, or podcast down the phone to you. So welcome back to Switched On Network, and if you're new here, this channel covers technology, gadgets, and the internet. So if you're into that sort of thing, do click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get all of our videos as soon as they go live. Now, to build this telephone number, I'm going to be using a platform called Twilio. They're an online cloud communications platform. There are others available, but Twilio seems to be the biggest and largest uh, and potentially the best, so I'm going to be using them in this video. This video is not sponsored by Twilio at all, other than the uh, referral link I'll put in the video description, so you can use this same content concept with other platform providers as well I'm sure but I'll be showing you how to build this on Twilio. So the first thing you'll need to do if you haven't already is to sign up. Now you don't have to but if you sign up using the referral link in the video description then you'll get an extra £10 or $10 credit when you upgrade your account and that will also give something back to me as well so full disclosure there. So if you click the link in the video description to sign up it will take you into your account. So I'm not going to walk you all the way through the sign-up process because I'll assume that you can do that yourself and as part of that process you'll have verified your email address on there. Now when you create a new project within there you'll have to also verify your phone number to prove that you're a human and you're not a bot misusing the service. So I'll pop in my phone number here and hit verify and then a code will come through to my phone in a moment and then it will allow us to start a free trial. So I'll pop in that code, press submit, and um, pass that stage. So the first thing it'll ask you here is do you write code? You, you can answer yes or no to this depending on whether you do or not. It just sort of customizes the, the layout of the dashboard for you. Uh, I do write code, so I'll say yes. You can say no if you don't. Uh, what's your preferred language? Uh, I'll say no.js there. And um, What's your goal today? To be honest, at this point, I'll just skip straight to the dashboard so we can get building. So you'll be taken to the dashboard here on your new Twilio account and you'll notice you have a trial balance. I'm in the UK so it's in their pounds. Trial balance of 1249 which will allow us to get, get things tested and call it a few times uh, to get set up. Don't worry about how the balance works and billing and everything right at this stage. I'll get to that in a moment. And uh, it's offering us to get a trial number at the moment. We're going to leave that for, for now. and I'm going to go and build what's called a function. And this this will be what happens when someone dials the number that we set up and it'll play the mp3 file to us so if you click on the three dots down here and then scroll down under runtime to functions we're going to create a function which is like a little bit of computer code which will be run or executed when we when anyone dials the number you have no functions in your account at the moment click create a function and then you can start from a template which is useful. Now the template I'd recommend starting with is called Hello Voice here. So if you click on that one there and then click Create, this will create a very basic function. And as you can probably work out there, even if you don't write any code, it will say Hello World. So it'll be a computerized voice saying Hello World. The first thing I'm going to do is give this function a name and I'm going to call this, because this is uh, for a church service setup, I'm going to call it Play Sermon. And then you have to give the function a path so that it can be referenced within your Twilio account. So I'm just going to call that sermon. Now down here we want to have this happen when the event is an incoming voice call because someone will be calling the number. Now you'll see on the code here we have a few lines of code here and the middle one, line three, is Twimmel. That's Twilio markup language for those who want to know. Uh, dot say and it will say whatever is in there so it'll be a sort of a computerized voice it'll say hello world now i'd recommend you change that to something like welcome to and then the name of your church or organization so i'm going to call that to st Anne's. the sermon recording will play shortly now the reason i'd recommend leaving that in 
is because sometimes there's a short pause whilst the mp3 file is loaded and got ready to play down the phone but this will play straight away so it gives the caller immediate positive confirmation that they've called the right number and that they're going to get through to someone the line you want to add underneath to make it play your mp3 file is almost the same as the line above so in fact what you can do is copy that and then paste it underneath and we're going to change the say to play instead and then what we're going to put in there is the url that's the website address to an actual mp3 file it's got to be the actual mp3 file not the page that it's played from it's got to be the actual mp3 so what i'm going to do here is remove that from there and then paste in the address to an mp3 file now this will depend on where your mp3s are hosted i'm going to show you how if you're just using this uh, recording to play them on Twilio you can actually host them within Twilio which I'll show you in a moment but on our website we have a separate subdomain there sermons.stanzegbeth.com and then the naming convention is the the date of the recording .mp3 if you're hosting yours on Google Drive or Dropbox or anything like that I'll leave the link to the written version of this tutorial in the video description and that shows you the extra little bits you need to do to make that work for Dropbox and Google Drive if you're hosting on a content delivery network like we are we've got a nice address like that and you can also host them on Twilio itself but for now let's press save on there and we now have a function so the next thing we need to do is go into all products and services and go to programmable voice in here we can see any numbers on our account listed we don't have any numbers yet so I'm going to click get a number and by default you'll be offered a, a USA number if you're in the USA that might be fine and you might be happy with that but if you're somewhere else I'm in the UK here in Liverpool then you can search for a different number now, especially if this service that you're setting up is going to be used by the elderly and vulnerable, it's probably a good idea to try and get a number from as close to your location as possible so they feel like they're just dialing a local number. I'm in Liverpool and the area code here is 0151, but of course in the telecoms world you have to drop the zero before entering in the number. So as you can see from my uh, list there, I won't be searching for 0151, I'll be searching for 151. If I press search there now, Will bring up a list of Liverpool numbers that I can go for so I'll go for I've got a nice ending there now the cost per month to rent just the number it, everything's in dollars and these are dollar conversions so it's one dollar a month which at the moment apparently is about 80.6 pence per month so when you get to the end of the process and you actually upgrade your account and put some real credit on there you'll be charged from that credit 80 pence or 80.6 pence per month to rent the number which is very reasonable I think you'll agree so press buy on there now at the moment this isn't costing me real money because this account is still in trial mode for, for getting it set up so press next and it will charge 80.6 pence from my trial credit on there so I'll press next on there at this point just states whether uh, it's a business or an individual using this I'm going to leave that as business press next now at this stage depending on the number there will be different regulatory requirements that you need to comply with uh, for this I just need to give an address if you have already added an address to your account that will appear in this drop down box or if you need to create an address I can press create address there add an address and I'm going to call this Inabella Media and the address is 17 Man Island there we are auto completes great and that's not in the United States, that's in the United Kingdom. Agree to the terms of service and press create address on there. Now if I go back to that other tab, hopefully that address will now appear. If I search for it in Avella Media, there we are. Select that there and then press buy the number. So that number now exists on my account and it's mine. I can change it to a friendly name there because you might have several different numbers set up for different purposes. So I'm going to call that dial a sermon. And then before I save this, I need to scroll down and tell Twilio what I want to happen when someone dials that number. So under the section here where it says a call comes in, it's set by default to webhook 
If I change that to function, because you remember we made a function in the last stage, and then this box here changes to a drop down, and the function we have available is called play latest sermon. So if I select that instead, and then now press save, that is it, our number is now set up. So if I scroll up to the top there so I can see the number, and if I dial this number from my phone, it's a demo number, so we will hear a message saying this is a demo uh, to begin with, that's fine. So if I dial 0151317-2985. You have a trial account. You can remove this message at any time by upgrading to a full account. Press any key to execute your code. So hear that message and it just says press any key to actually do what the number's gonna do. Press a key. You'll hear Welcome it ring. to St. Anne's. The sermon recording will play shortly. So it played that message that we typed out. And you see there's a little bit of a delay whilst it loads the MP3, which is why it's a good idea to have that message at the beginning. Good morning and a very warm you can welcome see, to first time our it online worked. Sunday service here at St. Anne's Egbert. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Ian Greenwood. I'm the vicar of there our church. So that worked perfectly there. Now a few little notes um, about how this works in terms of call costs and things. For someone dialing that 0151 number based in the UK, it's just a normal sort of local number which is included in free minutes and anything like that. So anyone who's got free minutes, that number will be free to call. The cost to you to receive a call is one cent per minute. So that's uh, about 0.84 pence, I think, depending on the exact exchange rate at the time. Now you have to make sure that you have the actual mp3 file listed in there so if i go back to here and paste in good morning that and a very warm welcome to exactly our online sunday service here at so if you open up google chrome and type in the address you should immediately have it play in there it shouldn't go to a web page or anything like that now, if you don't have anywhere to host those files and you don't want to use something like Google Drive or Dropbox, within Twilio, you can actually host the file. So if you're only using the recording for your phone line service and you're not using it anywhere else, this could make sense. If you go to Assets under Runtime, you can actually add an asset there, upload that, and then you'll get a web address from there to insert into your code. So this is a very, very basic example of how this setup can work, and this will obviously just play one simple MP3 file. So with this exact setup, you'd need to change that every week to play the next service or the next sermon from your recording schedule. You can expand this to do much more complicated things. You can have it automatically read the latest file available on a podcast or a website if you want. But to keep this very, very simple for beginners, this is all I'm going to do in this video. Now, the next thing you need to do if you set this up is then, of course, just upgrade your project. If you click on the upgrade project button there, it'll ask you to pop in some card details. It's just sort of a pay-as-you-go system. You're not signing up to any long contract or anything like that. And you'll have to top up at least £20. And if you click the link in the video description from this video, you and I will each get an extra £10 onto your account there. So that will help you get a little bit of extra to keep you going. So let me know if you set this up and if it works for you. And if you've got any problems or any questions, do leave them as a comment below and I'll do my best to answer as many as I can. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. I'm at Paul FB on both of there. Feel free to send me a message and I'll help out if I can. We've also got a Facebook group. So if you want to discuss this and other topics with other like-minded people or help each other with ideas to expand this even further, then do join our Facebook group and the links in the video description down there. Uh, I've also got a Patreon set up for this YouTube channel, so if you've enjoyed this video and you want to help support Switched On Network so that we can make more videos like this, then the link for that is in the video description as well, and that'd be very much appreciated if you take a look at that. But other than that, I've been Paul FB. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.